Texas faces a severe shortage of primary care providers, a problem that stretches from our rural areas to our major urban centers. The Texas Legislature is currently considering a dramatic plan to address this shortage by providing financial incentives for those willing to serve in medically underserved areas. Community leaders, patient advocates, and health care providers from the El Paso area gathered at the Centro de Salud Familiar La Fe to support this historic endeavor. We want to ask the, our legislators to act on this immediately before the June 1st deadline that is coming up here real quick. You know, we've already had a provider that came in through us about two weeks ago, and he specifically wanted to work under this, would come in and work with us if House Bill 1876 passed, and he would definitely want to work with us because it's a longer commitment for him to stay and, and work at our clinics. We support the passing of House Bill 1876 and would strongly urge our state legislature to pass that immediately. I, th I think, you know, getting more providers to our clinic, whether that's the, the physicians or the mid-level providers, which are nurse practitioners, uh, physician assistants, or certified uh, nurse midwives, is going to go a long way not only to provide the quality of care that our patients deserve, as well as at Lafayette and Project Vita, but I think the more important thing is to keep those patients out of a hospital setting as much as you can because when you get in a hospital setting, obviously that's more expensive setting. We still have a lot of patients that go into the emergency room environment that don't need to be there. And that, that's one indicator of, of a shortage of providers at our clinics. It's not just the community health centers that are supporting this. It's also the Greater El Paso Chamber of Commerce who sent a letter in support of this. It's also a number of the other hospital districts. It, this is a system-based issue. It's not just doctors, and it's not just the poor, it's all of us. If you want to be able to get in to see a healthcare professional for mental health, or dental health, or physical health, you need to have somebody to go see, and this is critical. Well, right now, the numbers that we've heard is El Paso in itself as a whole is anywhere from 600 to 700 docs short to be in compliance with uh, the patient to, to doc population. Bill 1876 is one of those that the Greater El Paso Chamber supported because it would begin to bring people into underserved areas all over Texas to begin to work off their debt as they graduate from medical school, dental school, dental hygienist school, nursing school, or their MSW programs. We want to you know urge the public to get out there and call their legislators in Austin and encourage them to, to pass the bill. Well, the patients need to call, uh, our staff needs to call our legislators and make sure that this House bill is passed. It, it certainly is a great recruitment tool for us to be able to get providers in our facilities and be able to, to help the uninsured. Well, you know how you always seem to wait for hours at the doctor's office? Well, it's not all in your head. Borderland residents gathered yesterday to address the shortage and to urge lawmakers to pass the Texas Healthcare Access Fund. The bill aims to help medical school graduates pay off their loans if they agree to work in underserved areas such as El Paso County. They've just got these great loans that want <laughs> to get educated. You know, they, some of them come in with 160 to 200 thousand dollar loans, and and they can't afford based on the salaries. We can't compete with the the bigger hospitals and, and, and private practice sometimes. Health experts say just in the El Paso area alone, we're short anywhere between six to seven hundred doctors. The bill would help physicians pay off student loans in return for practicing in an underserved area for four years. Currently, the Sun City needs dentists, family practice doctors, and pediatricians. These are mostly underserved patients, which means that they're not insured at all. They don't have any health insurance, so they can't go to a private doc. They can't go just to the rainy hospital. Uh, that's why that's what our clinics are for, is to be able to help the, the uninsured or underinsured. The deadline for the House to sign the bill is June. Vamos ahora rápidamente con Ariana López. Adelante. La falta de médicos, enfermeras, dentistas y otros profesionistas de salud a nivel nacional también afecta a los que vivimos aquí en esta frontera. Es por eso que hoy unieron esfuerzos los proveedores de salud para apoyar una propuesta de ley que pretende aliviar todos estos problemas en Texas. Se trata de la propuesta de ley HB 1876. 
la cual establecería un fondo para ayudar a los graduados de la profesión de salud a pagar los costos de su educación, siempre y cuando se comprometan a servir en comunidades de escasos recursos como El Paso. Queremos hacer un, un fondo para pagar los préstamos de estudios de profesionistas de salud. Esto no es únicamente médicos. 